And we have millions of illegals crossing our border. And can you imagine that a bunch of them are not terrorists? I mean, three years of open borders, if the terrorists are not coming here and planning something, they're guilty of terrorist malpractice. So <laughs> I'm sure they are doing something. And we've got to get the right people back in place. And you know, when they do do something, guess who they're going to blame it on? They're going to say somehow that it's Trump's fault. Everything, in their opinion, is Trump's fault. Well, what is going to be his fault is bringing our country back again. And, you know, it wasn't that long ago that we had a secure southern border, that we were energy independent, that people could put gas in their cars, they could put groceries in their refrigerator, and we had a leader who was willing to protect our freedom of speech. Now we have people worried when they say something. Am I going to be punished? Am I going to be canceled? I got to tell you something. We need the kind of leadership that will protect us. And we also need courage ourselves. You know, when I was running for president, I discovered that most of the American people had common sense. What they lacked was courage. There were a lot of people who just looked at the floor and they won't say anything because they don't want some negative repercussions. But what we have to remember is that we cannot be the land of the free if we're not the home of the brave. But one man had the courage to take on the political establishment and give the people a voice in Washington with no concern about what it would cost him. You know, Donald Trump lost millions, if not billions of dollars. And he's been attacked constantly and demonized. And yet, he's still there. They haven't gotten rid of him. They're trying to do everything in their power to get rid of him because he's the biggest threat to the administrative state and to the swamp. I don't call it a swamp. I call it a cesspool. Yeah. <laughs> and they will do anything possible to get rid of him because he's the existential threat to their continuation of power. So don't be surprised some of the other things that they're going to try. But they see his poll numbers, and they're really worried. What those poll numbers tell me is that the American people are a lot smarter than they think they are. And they're idiots. The American people recognize that if the left is successful in using the Justice Department and using our system of checks and balances in a aberrant way to keep him from running or gaining the presidency, then we will have lost the republic. You know, Benjamin Franklin was asked in 1787 after they finished the Constitutional Convention, sir, what do we have here, a monarchy or a republic? He said, a republic if you can keep it. The way we can keep it is we can put Donald J. Trump back in office. And as I stand here today, I want to offer my most confident and full endorsement of Donald J. Trump. Because <laughs> and Donald Trump. Donald Trump believes in our freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and the right to keep and bear arms. And don't you get tired of those people who say, you don't need a high-power weapon to go duck hunting? Well, the Constitution and the Second Amendment is not about duck hunting. It's about, it's about the, the right of the people to protect themselves from an overly aggressive government.
And we don't want that to happen. So we can fix our country and we can make America great again. And President Donald J. Trump is the person to do that. So welcome to stage now, my friend,